Welcome to Poland Daily Culture. On today's episode, we're at Krzeczyn Mały Palace in the Polish Western countryside. We're going to be meeting the Nikolai family and telling you all about this historic palace and the surrounding area. The palace in Krzyczyn Mały is a Baroque palace from the 18th century. In 1997, a French family coming from Belgium, Count and Countess Guillaume de Nicolet, bought the estate and started renovating it. Since five years, their son, Count Charles de Nicolet, is patiently taking care of their new house in Poland. In our episodes, he will tell us about the history of the palace as well as about his family. How would you say that the palace is perceived from the surrounding area? I think quite well. Maybe at the beginning, people here didn't know what my parents wanted to do. It's quite common that the country houses in, uh, around here, when not destroyed, are used as hotels or administrations. People didn't, at the beginning maybe, really understand that my parents wanted it to become back what it used to be, a family house. When people of the village started uh, working here, helping us to uh, reconstruct the house, I think uh, they thought it was a good idea. And uh, we all worked together to, to make it great again. Maybe you could tell us something about uh, what's happening uh, sort of here in the surrounding areas uh, throughout the year. So during the year uh, there are different aspects. The, the rebuilding of the house is one of the big things. So we're working the last years on the facades. We did the frontal one. Now we are doing the eastern one, but this is, works only during the spring and summer, because if it gets too cold, we can't work. There's also the whole redoing of the gardens, uh, which is a lot of work. And not only redoing, but maintaining what, what is already done. We planted last year and this year a lot of roses, uh, a lot of um, different uh, types of trees, which uh, will be big in uh, 50 or 100 years. We have the, the vegetable gardens, which is, uh, which is not far from here, where we produce most of the, the vegetables we eat in the house. The animals too, we have uh, rabbits, sheep, uh, pigs. Uh, we used to have goats for the milk, but we don't anymore. We really try to produce as much uh, food as we can uh, here not only because it's good for us, but because it's better for the environment. And I think there is no sense in buying January tomatoes that come from Morocco. Or... So in, uh, in January, we eat uh, carrots and... Um, seasonal food. Seasonal food, yes. And you know, this is kind of, this relates to my previous point about sort of maintaining the traditions of the place, because of course, in the past, hundreds of years ago, people wouldn't, think of so much about importing foods from far and wide and they would source everything locally. And so this sort of idea of maintaining everything and sourcing everything locally, it's... I think it's a whole. It's a whole completely. But having fruits and vegetables that come from the other side of the world in seasons, uh, in other seasons, is a completely... Uh, it's, a, it's a parenthesis that arrived after the war. Until now it, of course, exists still, but people are getting more and more conscious that it's maybe not the, the best idea. We have the possibility here uh, to, to do it uh, another way that's 
why we try to do it as much as we can. I understand that you organise some events here uh, throughout the year and some things happen involving sort of family, friends and even members of the public. Yes, we have uh, friends visiting us from Poland or, or other countries, mostly during the summer because it gets quite cold here in the winter. We don't heat so much, even though we have the, the wood from the, from the forest. But yes, we, we try to open the house from time to time. Last time we had a, a concert here with uh, local soprano called uh, Liliana Ijek and a uh, baritone from Lubin II, uh, Jarosław Bodakowski, that was uh, what was a year ago. We'll try to, to work more with the municipality from here to, to make more of that kind of events. Yeah, and do you use the, the garden surrounding area for uh, other purposes other than sort of decorative things? Uh, we'll have a garden party uh, on Friday. Uh, members of the family who built this house and sold it uh, 200 years ago, doing a tour of, uh, of their uh, old uh, estates in the region. So they are visiting here too uh, on Friday, so that will be interesting. Yeah. Oh, oh, very nice. And I, I've also seen some sort of greenhouses out there. Are they uh, fully operational? The greenhouse is for the vegetables. Uh, if you come back in two or three weeks, uh, you'll have some tomatoes from here. We're here in the library. Maybe you could tell us a little something about the library and the, its contents. We finished it uh, last year and I have mostly books in French, some in Polish, because uh, I can speak Polish, but it's quite hard to read it, but uh, I do my best. Well, here we have books about the, the family or the house here, and otherwise uh, books about gardening, about farming. Yeah, okay. The winters are quite long here. In the, <laughs> the, the, the evenings in the, win in the winter are quite long, so we have time to read. Yeah, yeah. But is it something more like uh, more classical literature as well? or Yes, mostly French literature, but quite classical. Oh, OK. Maybe you could tell us a little something about the animals on the farm. Of course, we visited the alpacas uh, earlier today. We have the alpacas here, which we started a few years ago. Uh, with my two associates and we do the duvets out of their wool. And apart from that, uh, we have well, two dogs. Uh, we, you saw one uh, which came just uh, a, a moment ago. Uh -huh. Some pigs, rabbits, sheep and plenty of cats which run everywhere. Nice. And maybe we'll try next year to have uh, horses. That would be nice. Yeah. Uh, you ride horses or? I learn. I learn. Yes. <laughs> In the process. Okay. In the process. So what, you know, you mentioned about the horses, what else is the sort of the future for uh, this place? I think the, the, the future is to finish the, reconstruct the reconstruction of the house, which might take a while because it's not, not done yet. And then to, to maintain it um, and to have more and more alpacas, it would be great. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Charles, thank you very much for joining us here at Poland Daily Culture. Thank you for coming.